that one case, the child is in need of uh, life support for breathing. Electric consumption is very high, like $500 per month. Mm -hmm. Both parents are not working. According to our chart, right, I'm actually giving $150 per month. Recently, we have seen a lot of such cases, mm -hmm. especially with clients who are doing home dialysis. Because the thing is, what if ST cuts off the electricity? Mm -hmm. Now what happens to the child? So I think we have to think in that way. So I hope we get SP. Mm -hmm. Ask them, tell them not to cut. Mm -hmm. It's life, life matter. We see elderly clients, families with young children, or even school-going children approaching us for assistance. Each client comes with a different set of issues. It can be financial, it can be emotional, it can be they're going through a marital issue. I told them, I will help you with the household bills. But while the assistance is going on, I think your wife can explore some jobs. When I asked you know, Raisha, she said she don't mind, but she's got leg pain, she's got medical condition and all that. She became very emotional that she's not able to sustain job. Is it I'm dreaming? <laughs> you can always say, have no job, no job, no job. Especially my mama, she's very, very happy. Very happy. Ah, you know, okay. she, so the, when she was telling, it was like a dream, and then she had to pinch herself. I, I had no idea that she went through that. And I felt very happy also. I was so closely monitoring her that even when she was signing the, the offer letter, I was on the phone line with her. Oh, on the best one. Okay, thanks. I hope she'll be happy with the work environment. Okay, okay. <laughs> thanks, thanks, okay. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, bye. -bye. Okay, bye, -bye. Financial is just one aspect. There will be always some underlining factors which we are not able to see. What the officers have to do is try to find out what is this underlying current their client is going through. Sometimes people just tell you off on the face, scold you in the presence of a lot of people. Why do you think anyone will say such a thing? They are under um, stress. So, patience. You must have the heart to see the case in every angle. Why you, he went to an unlicensed money lender? Marital relationship, that could be a factor. So there is an emotional issue there. That's when we start seeing whether we, he needs extra help or not. If I were to give an advice to a client, the client will just turn around and say, you have never been in my shoe. You do not know how it feels like not to have food on your table how it feels like when you know my child cries and I don't have money to buy milk and I feel like stealing the milk powder. But what we can tell them is, tell me what is going to and see how best we can help you. We'll never say, why are you not doing this? Why are you not doing that? Because it might not sound right to the client. This girl um, in her mid-twenties so has not been uh, in a regular employment for the past one year or so. I 
been trying to speak with the daughter to motivate her as in working towards some kind of financial stability this will be taken into consideration now when we review their case for extension So you Different people they have different different mindset, different thinking. Lah. So we also cannot dictate what they should do. Ultimately, they are responsible for their own lives. What we can do is just to to, to guide them. As much as when they don't move, you're frustrated. When they really move, it's really a joy. Uh, I also can work. I also can earn. I also can support my children. I think that is something great.